The Israeli army says a first plane carrying U.S. military aid has arrived as an air base in the south of the country. The U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, is heading for Israel later, a trip which Washington says is intended to send a message of solidarity and of support. Well, in a speech on Tuesday, President Biden said he'd make sure Israel had what it needs to defend itself against attacks by Hamas. He described the assault as an act of sheer evil. So in this moment, we must be crystal clear. We stand with Israel. We stand with Israel. And we will make sure Israel has what it needs to take care of its citizens, defend itself, and respond to this attack. There's no justification for terrorism. There's no excuse. But in a phone call with Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, the White House says Mr. Biden stressed the need to distinguish between terrorists and innocent civilians. Our North America correspondent Shingai Nyoka gave us this analysis of Mr. Biden's approach. Well, in his actual speech, um, if there are limits, he didn't spell them out explicitly, well, not publicly anyway. Uh, his speech was incredibly emotional, where he referred to Hamas as pure and unadulterated evil and reiterated what he said all along, that the United States stands with Israel. But he also said that Israel has the right and a duty to defend itself against Hamas, essentially giving them um, a a, a, a blank sheet, a, a blank space uh, to be able to do what they want uh, and what they need to, to be able to uh, put Hamas down. Uh, but what we've been hearing, as you mentioned there, is that President Biden um, has uh, been speaking privately to uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, a way he has um, urged restraint and expressed concern about the fate of the civilians. And uh, what he said publicly uh, in his address was that the, that Israel is like the U.S. and that it respects the rules of war as well as the international as well as international law. But there are concerns expressed by the United Nations as well as the European Union that this will not happen and that the fate of two million Palestinians is at risk, even as Israel escalates its offensive. But I don't really think that uh, many people here will expect to hear criticism from the U.S. as Israel escalates its offensive against Hamas.